Hi. I'm strongly considering spoiling the plot of 2001 A Space Odyssey, 2010 Odyssey 2, and 2061 Odyssey 3. So if you haven't watched and read those, uh, the first two are movies, the second one, the third one is, uh, is just a book. Uh, the second movie is uh, the movie's title, 2010 The Year We Made Contact. But anyways, uh, you might want to consume that media first, and then not watch this video, because it's not going to be a good video. It's going to be a total waste of your time. But here we go. So 2001, the Space Odyssey. There are some monkeys, and they're having a bad time of it. Uh, they, uh, they, they do have a lot of bananas, granted. But they're very dumb, and they're slipping on the banana pills like comic characters. And I believe this is where uh, slipping on banana pills, the little comic idea came from some really, really dumb monkeys. And uh, they're also starving and getting eaten and uh, battling over scarce resources. But mostly they're slipping over banana peels. So one day, uh, from the sky drops a monolith, which is a big rock or stone or whatever. And a monkey sees it. He's like, cool. And uh, fast forward a thousand years, they've all died, by the way, and uh, apes have evolved into human beings. And uh, anyways, the human beings evolved from apes, not monkeys, are, um, are uh, having a good time of it. No, I'm kidding, they're having a bad time of it, because it's the Cold War, and they're cold. And uh, they're not simply not in banana pills. Namely because they don't have bananas as an abundance, as like I said, because you know, no one has that many bananas. They're going kind of bananas. And they did have bananas, they'd probably be slipping on them because they're kind of idiots too. And uh, anyways, uh, the, uh, the U.S. finds something on the moon. We don't know what it is, no one cares. And you have a lot of long shots in the movie of spaceship and space ships traveling through space. And uh, there's some music playing to try to make it more interesting. And I'm just watching these long ships of spaceships traveling through most empty space. But it's classical music, so it doesn't help. In fact, it may even make matters worse. Uh, you could possibly mute the movie because it's just classical music playing. You're not going to miss anything. There's not much dialogue. And you could possibly play some Metallica, but that'd probably be even worse. So. No. But anyways, anyways, um, the uh, the human beings, uh, uh, well, they're asking. There's a few of them are asking the Russian friends about the you know, whole movie away more or less. The uh, what's going on with the moon and why is it being quarantined or whatever. And they're like, uh, well, bananas. Look at the time. Got to go. They're like, but you didn't ask a question. Sorry, just got to run. Got to run. And. Uh, Anyways, we go there, and guess what? There's a monolith. This is the same monolith. This is a different one. Who cares? It's dumb. It's a dumb movie. I don't know why I'm relating it. So they go there, and they gather for a picture of themselves in the monolith. And uh, unfortunately, they realize they forgot to bring film, so they're unable to get the picture. They suggest going back to Earth for the film, and then remember the Russians have all the film, they have to borrow it from them, they're just a little rude and they're rushing off like that, so they're probably going to get it, so they just give up. Flash forward. We're now on the spaceship uh, Discovery or something, I don't know, who cares. And uh, we have our uh, visible characters, Dave Bowman and Frank Girl. I think that's his name, I don't remember. And anyways, they're on a spaceship, traveling through space. Oh, and they also have a computer with them, who kills one of them. I forget which one, doesn't really matter. Uh, and it goes mad. It's probably uh, goes mad first, then kills one or both of them. Who cares? And then the other one, who's still alive, I guess, who knows, goes and he sees a bunch of lights. A uh, bunch of lights it goes on for a while. There's a face in there, it's kind of neat. But mostly it's just boring. Then he arrives at a place where he goes to sleep. 
after he eats some food, which is boring. I think he looks in the mirror, which is also boring. He's not anything to look at. So, uh, and then he reaches out in his bed, and he's sleeping, and uh, I don't remember what he sees. Um, some cat or banana or something. I don't know. He sees something. Who cares? It's not interesting. 2010, Odyssey 2, or the Iron Man Contact in the movie. Uh, it's a bit better, but not much. I don't remember what happens in that one. I have read it. I haven't read it. I saw the movie. I read the first book. Um, the computer is back. The mad computer is back. I think it says it's sorry or something. Not only does it it's sorry, but they forgive it anyways. It's called one of them. It's a big deal. I mean, it probably is for him and his family. And uh, his friend, Dave or Frank, whichever one died, the other one survivor. Had to make the trip alone through a bunch of boring lights and uh, go to a boring place for some food, which probably wasn't very good. He didn't look very excited to eat it. The mirror, which only showed him, which was pretty boring. And a bed, which it looked nice enough. And then he died, or whatever, I guess. Who knows? Who cares? I think it was reincarnated as a banana, but that's no good to anyone. 2061, Odyssey 3. This one exists only as a book. Uh, and this, uh, and this one. They, uh, Haywood Floyd, who's a guy, who was in the first movie, I actually said his name because no one cares, and that's important at all. He uh, goes on a comment, he has this comment, this has nothing to do with the rest of the book, he just goes on a comment, who cares, it's not interesting. Um, he like makes a mini comment on the comment, I meaning he picks up some dust or something and throws it up. Wow. Oh, that's, uh, that's magical. It's pretty, it's hard pretty well, I guess, but you know, seriously, who cares? Um, and uh, then his uh, son, or whoever it is, is on some other ship. And uh, he says, gosh, I'm really bored. And then they crash land on Europa because he gets bored. He crashes the ship instead of boredom just to create some chaos. And that's what happened. I think that's what happens. I don't remember exactly. Who cares? And uh, so they're on Europa, which is a moon of Jupiter, apparently. And... Uh, there's apparently some aliens there. Yeah, we're actually some aliens. I don't know if it's really see them. And you might notice some, you know, closer to them before. But they're not interesting. Um, I don't know if they have bananas or not. Probably not. But, you know, this man joke's gone way too long. I should retire it. But I don't know anything else going on. So anyways, they're on uh, Europa now. It's great. It's wonderful. You're happy. I'm not sure why. I mean... Chris Floyd is happy because he crashed the ship and he got away with it because no one knows. Because he acted like it was an accident, but it wasn't. He's done purpose, but you know, it doesn't matter. He's just happy. He's creating chaos. No one else is happy, but, you know, they're eaten even by alien sharks and stuff, but, you know, stuff happens. Anyways, long story short, they find out the planet has a diamond core. And that's supposed to, like, wow me or something. Archie Clark was like, look, there's a diamond core. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that fascinating? Does that have, like, tremendous consequences for, like, the economy and stuff like that? And I'm like, e yeah, I guess, but, I mean, you don't like what those consequences, and even if it did, I wouldn't really care, and I don't care, and it's boring, anyways, in my time. And there's a fourth book called 3001, The Final Odyssey, which better be The Final Odyssey, and I think it is because Archie Clark has since, you know, passed, but um, I haven't read that one. Maybe I will someday, but I haven't yet, so I can't really tell much about it. And he has dinosaurs in it. So that's kind of neat. That actually might be pretty good. I might read that one. I probably will. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, 2061 was a bad taste in my mouth. But, you know, it was kind of fun. I mean, not terribly, but, you know, it was, it was for Norad and stuff, so who cares. All right. Now, I've saved you the trouble of having to watch and read those. But you saw the fourth one. There's dinosaurs in it. That's kind of neat, I guess. I don't know. All right. Take care, everyone. If you watched this far, you've really wasted a lot of time. I suggest you do something productive. I don't know.